Yeah, mate, so I'm a purple man, I'm a blessed beats. Time for a little breaking news thing today. Mashina has a new update. First of all, let me give a big one shout out to Jeff Gibbons for trying out the Humbox. Big love to you. All right, let's check out what is new about this new Mashina update. Looking deceivingly similar here at the surface, but let me tell you what. The big thing about 2.16 is the WST3 support. A lot of people have been waiting a long time for this. Some people don't really care. They just want the automation curves and the custom chord sets and whatnot. But let me tell you what is the advantage of the VST3. Why is why is even VST3 better than VST2? Number one, VST2 is being phased out. Support for it is declining. It's a dying breed because VST3 has been around for long enough. It is time to phase out that old version because it's much better. First of all, some of these plugins are only available as VST3. Not a lot, but some of them. So check them out. For example, you see this lineup right here. We got Blessed Beats in there, Auburn, uh, Fab Filter, Isotope. Let's have a look at Isotope here. We have Ozone 9. But if we go over to VST3, which is the new part of the Machina update, and we go to o uh, Isotope there, you can see Ozone 10 is there. I would imagine that uh, this has put a little bit of pressure on them because Isotope and Native Instruments are under the same roof now, so of course everything has to be compatible. Ozone 10, right about around here, is only available as VST3. Now you can run that in Machina. Also, check this out. Hey, Homebox, VST3 version. <laughs> Not really anything different about it. Other things such as Autotune, Melodyne, 5 and up, only VST3. So that, that's one aspect of it. Some plugins only available as VST3. Number one more. VST3 is much more intelligent when it comes to the computer or the Nader device rendezvous. If I have one, two, three instances running, all of them are eating a little bit of the CPU. VST3 is smarter than that. It recognizes when a plugin is being used and not, and it's just not wasting any CPU resources. So you may able to notice in your Machina projects that some of them are gonna be running a little bit more faster. This and a few more facts, it handles more inputs, audio and more MIDI inputs. For example, some plugins uh, might have a side chain input on them, for example only working with VST3 because it needs that input 3 and 4 as a sidechain input. So it is good that we're getting with the times, you know what I'm saying? Wow, it is even running the alpha version of the Blasio SA10 right about around here. That is amazing. <laughs> Magnificent. Also, we have the long-awaited support for native silicon, the M1 stuff and all of that. A few bug fixes. But really, the WST3 support is the headliner of today's update. I'm not going to be more long-winded than this today. Which WST3 plugin are you looking forward to trying out? Stay tuned for Thursday. We're exciting. Machina video coming out. Okay, bye-bye.